So recently, the app entrepreneur placed a video on YouTube regarding the updates to the parking at LaGuardia International Airport. And some of the comments in response to that video countered what he stated in that video. Basically, what the app entrepreneur stated in his video is that now Uber cars, Lyft cars, all rideshare cars had to report to the garage and they had to wait there for a pickup as well as pick up their passengers there. And the counter argument was that no, that the, the outside lots were still available and for free. Oh, because there was a there was a time limit to wait in a new garage, you would have to pick up a ticket, and then after an hour you'd be paying for garage time. And the counter argument was that no, that is not the case because he's not from New York City, that the outside lots were still available for free and only when you got a job, you would report to the garage and pick up the passenger. So this week, that new setup, that new update was put into effect and I'm gonna bring you with me for that. Stay tuned till the end of the video where I will share my thoughts on this entire experience this week and some action steps that I'll suggest that you can take moving forward. Because I just went to the parking lot that I thought I had to go to and one of the, the workers there said, no, you go to the, the parking garage on the second level to wait for your passenger. I'm like, hmm, that's interesting. So we're gonna go there right now and see what it's like. Turn B, official level two turn B parking. Okay. So what we see to your right is what used to be the pickup lot. Um, and now, past these orange cones, but now we're all making ourselves, are making our way into the lot. Oh my god. Hey guys, so in the next following clips, uh, I'm filming from my dash cam because the dash cam films a wider angle. So you see more of what you need to see when you go to the brand new garage. And no, I'm not being sponsored by Nexar. I'm just leveraging the dash cam to its fullest. What you will see is that on Thursday, when we get to the second level, probably fast forward a lot of the clips just to save time. You'll see that level two where you have the parking area and then you have the waiting area for the passengers is already full. You'll see a lot of metal barricades and you'll see a lot of people in suits. It kind of build, it builds up during the day because Thursday it got really packed in the garage. I had an Uber Black to LaGuardia and I usually do a round around the terminals of LaGuardia to see if I can pick up a job right away and then go back to wherever I need to go, mostly back to the city. I didn't have a pickup so then I went to the garage and the moment, the first time I entered the garage, I was not, I just was not happy because I saw that it was crowded and uh, they were rushing us in and, and, and the second level was crowded and they moved us up to the third level. I was told to go up to the third level, but there was no parking on the third level. And so the cars, the Uber cars, rideshare cars would just like park alongside the parked cars. And I parked behind them for a bit, but I just did not feel comfortable given that I drive a truck. They call it a truck, it's a Suburban. I measured it, it's 16 feet long. It's about six feet wide and a little above six feet high. And it weighs 6,000 pounds, just to have that in perspective. So I decided to leave. So I was, as I was leaving, another truck was coming. <laughs> we were like this way, but he was a gentleman. 
He was driving a GMC Yukon XL. He was a gentleman. He backed out and he let me out and I thanked him on the way out. So I went back out and I did another round, the terminals. You could always hope <laughs> to see if you can get a pickup. And I went back to the garage and this time and you will see I'll fast forward through some of the clips from my dash cam I'll get to the second level and there's now more 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 of the pedestrian management team the people more but one of the pedestrian management purse people lady uh, she said to me go to the third floor and if it's crowded go up to the fifth floor and you'll see through the uh, subsequent clips that I'm going to provide for you that is the instruction that they're going to give you. That's like, okay, just go as high as you can. As it got later through the day, it just got even more crowded and crowded. So I believe the people that created the setup for the new parking, they're, they're looking at this first week as a learning experience and they're, they're probably figuring out how they can do things better. Up to this point, we haven't had to pick up a ticket or wait an hour. Also on Thursday, the wait times were just a little bit longer. But what I noticed was when I entered the garage, I was at 51 to 60 and then I would go up and try to as I would go up, the the queue would go down and go down and would lower. And by the time I would parked, I would think I was down by 21 to 30. And I didn't wait very long till I got a pickup. But because I had all the trip preferences on, so I probably waited like a half hour. I did that trip. I went back to the city. I did a round, and then I went down Ninth Avenue and I got a pickup to go to Yankee Stadium, black car. And then I figured since I was all the way in the Bronx, I was going to go back to LaGuardia. And that was at 7 p.m. When I got to LaGuardia at, in the evening, it was really packed. My goodness. It was packed. I was like, you know what? I'm going home. I was saying to myself, I'm going to go home because it was already 7 p.m. And I said, maybe I should just go home. I just wanted to have one more ride for the night. And, um, well, I'll just show you and I'll, I'll, I'll voice it through the next following clips. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, so go up there, go to your map and go up. Thank you.